All right, how's it going guys? Today we're in the garage and uh, I'm gonna see if this uh, Bapo rust works. And the reason behind that is just to clean this, this rotor up that I have. But the main reason is for the V8 car. This is the sending unit um, that was in the tank that I had in the car, the wreck car. Um, so we're gonna get this thing cleaned up, you know, basically rebuild it, new pump and all that good stuff. So we're gonna give this stuff a shot and see if it actually works, get this thing cleaned up and I got something to seal the rust with and uh, put it in the car and be done with the fueling system. But, looks promising. Uh, this is pretty much just an old rotor that I had laying around. Um, I think it come with a car that I bought that was blown up. Um, but yeah, this is the sending unit that was out of the, uh, the black FDR-X7 that I picked up for parts, the one that was wrecked. Um, it was pretty bad and the tank was destroyed. I've actually cleaned this up a little bit, kind of just taking a wire brush to it. But yeah, I just want to get uh, the majority of the rust off of it. And then I got some uh, metal sealer that I'm going to put on here. And this will be the finishing or the part, the last part I need to finish the fueling system on the V8 car. We'll go ahead and throw the tank in and um, I actually have the fuel system all knocked out. So, basically you just got to put this, you know, get a container, uh, put your rusted part in there, fill it up with this stuff, and let it sit um, as long as it needs. So, it could take, I don't know, 24 hours, more, who knows. Anyway, we got a five gallon bucket, I'm going to put these parts in there, fill it up, let them sit overnight and see how they uh, turn out. But all right, we got us, uh, like I said, just a five gallon bucket. And we'll sit the rotor in first. Sit that guy down there. And I actually got two gallons of this stuff. So I think it should be enough to fill this up. We'll go ahead and try not to splash it all over the place. Probably should have got more than two gallons. It's not looking very promising. At least a smaller container anyway. Here's the part we've all been waiting for. Let's see if this stuff actually worked. I'm going to grab the rotor out of here. I don't have a glove, so <laughs> just to use this bag. Okay. This feels very odd. Looking pretty good, huh? Man, would you check that guy out? Woo wee! All right, for the part that actually matters, the sending.
All right, guys, this stuff basically needs to be wiped down to get the uh, evapor rust off. But I would definitely say it, it worked. <laughs> um, they probably soaked for uh, probably 24 hours. I'll probably let them soak a little bit more. I really do think like all the rust is gone, but I'm just paranoid about that. Like the main thing I was worried about is like rust being in the return or in the main feed. Cause you know, if there's like a chunk of rust in there and it breaks free, you know, it's going to get into your, your fuel filter and possibly somewhere else it doesn't need to be. But anyway, um, I would definitely say it works. Um, the metal was rusted pretty bad. I mean, it's like, it's pitted. I'll clean this stuff up and give you a close view of it. But um, even this rotor, the rotor wasn't really pitted. Cause I mean, this thing, the rotor itself is in really good shape. Um, like I said, the faces are pretty good. Um, doesn't look like this thing has any damage really. So it's actually unfortunate because you, you can see it's, they're kind of, they're dirty. Um, so I think once I wipe them down, they'll actually be even cleaner than this. So I'll clean them up real quick and then I'll show y'all what they look like all cleaned up and wiped down. Okay guys, got this, uh, this rotor all cleaned up. Um, I would definitely say Vapo Rust works. Um, like I said, just got this thing pretty clean. Like I said, I wiped it down. It kind of had like some some dirt and crud on it from the the solvent, I guess. And you can kind of see there's like some. This thing's in pretty good shape. Uh, it has some damage on this side right here. Kind of see that one little nick. This is why I made a bad rotary, or this is why I make a bad engine builder, period. Um, to me, this I wouldn't want to use this rotor. Um, even though the damage is not that bad, get it to focus, it's not going to focus. Uh, let's see here. Geez, when I need the camera to focus, it's going to act all stupid. There we go. As you can kind of see right there. Um, any little like all this little pitting and stuff like that, I don't know if that's from the rust or what but stuff like this you know a lot of people would let it go and say it's okay but in my opinion any high and low spots on your combustion surface which this right here is basically the combustion chamber of a rotary engine um, it's just bad news in my opinion um, uh, I would say mainly in my theory behind it is that it's going to create um, hot spots that could cause detonation maybe so I wouldn't if it was like a junky engine you don't care about yeah sure but something you can put a lot of money into and have like you know a couple thousand bucks in I wouldn't I wouldn't want to risk it that's a pretty bad one doesn't really feel that bad but it's definitely a nice little scratch. I wish this thing would focus better. It's driving me crazy. Definitely a nice little, little low spot. So, so anywhere like right there, that little peak. You know, I wouldn't risk it. But I had no intentions on using this anyway. Um, I pretty much got rid of all my FC stuff. This is actually. Um, I'm assuming out of an FC Arc 7. Uh, I've had this thing sitting around for a while, but anyway. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Evapo Rust works. It gets my thumb of approval. Um, the rotor turned out really, really good. Like I said, for me, that's just display, so it's clean enough. Uh, the sending unit, like I said, it soaked for 24 hours. I don't see any traces of rust on it, but I'm letting it soak until I'm actually ready to build the fuel pump and everything, because you know I don't think it's gonna hurt it. So I'm gonna let that guy soak as long as I can, and. When I'm ready to put this, the fuel tank ascending unit in the FDR arc 7 I'll break it out and clean it up and everything. But you'll see that in the next video, which will be us getting the FDR arc 7 running and driving. So, Like always, guys, appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe, stick around, share. I hope this helped someone out. If you were interested in using this product, I definitely recommend it. It works good. So this stuff isn't cheap. It's like 25 bucks for this. So That's a big gamble if you don't know if it's going to work or not. But if you're watching this, it works. <laughs> but all right, guys, I'm getting out of here. See you on the next one.